Hi everyone, this is Kelly from House of Virgo here. We're going to do your love reading. This is a channel strictly for Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hello everyone. Welcome back. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video on my channel if you enjoy these readings. And please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. It's a general reading, general love reading, so just take what fits. And you guys can also purchase a personal reading from me. There's a link in the description box below this video. All right, let's get started. Let's see what's going on here for you guys. Virgo, Virgo. Okay. All right, so we have Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing a change happening here. You know what? Let me take a look at the bottom of the deck. See what the... Okay. So three of swords. Some type of um, argument, maybe, or um, some type of heartbreaking. Somebody here listening to this video is experiencing some kind of heartbreak. Um, hmm, King of Cups energy. The chariot reversed. Something a bit scattered no movement um, somebody was definitely you know it kind of feels like somebody here was a bit indifferent and more can more wanting to just be more of a in a conquering energy than anything else okay which you know it is what it is it feels like to me that um, there's a lot of restrictions right now um, but things are going to be shifting and changing going forward. The Ace of Wands, there's a new potential start happening here for you guys. Okay. Um, yeah, I do feel like there will be change, definitely. But I feel like there's really good intention with someone to move something forward, or this person has good intention to have a potential new beginning with you and I feel like as soon as I just keep feeling restrictions as soon as restrictions lift things are really going to start moving now when will that be <laughs> that's a good question even though I do feel like it's kind of like when those restrictions lift I feel like somebody's impatient doesn't want to wait for that okay doesn't want to wait. Let me take a look at the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, why? Because there's a sense of feeling abandoned or left out in the cold. Somebody is, yeah, it just feels like your person, you or your person are really going to, it's like weighing the cost plus the benefit, right? The cost is, okay, all these restrictions are going on, but we need to overcome these, um, and it's a risk, but at the same time, what's left is being without each other, okay? And so there's this whew, separation of some sort. That might be why that Three of Swords was there, because somebody's feeling kind of heartbroken because they can't be together, you know? Um, and I know some of you... Somebody I'm picking up could be ill... And that might be keeping um, some separation going here between the two of you. Somebody's just feeling kind of, there's like ill health or a sense of um, like illness. Let's see. Yeah, trying to get strong here, okay? Trying to gain the strength. Leo energy. Let's take a look at this Ace of Wands. There's the Six of Wands again, trying to get back on top. Somebody wants to get back on the top with you. Virgo, you take that however you like. <laughs> Somebody wants to get back in, back on top. I do see communication happening here. I see um, some really sweet love messages. Somebody wanting to do the right thing. Um, the Two of Cups, meet halfway or come together, start a romance. Okay, I just feel like somebody, your person, mostly it feels like is in this position where they're unable to do something. And as soon as they get out of this, this situation, whether it has to do with family or friends or a work thing or health, 
as you know I feel like they're trying to recover get strong as soon as they're able to get away from something then things are going to start moving forward and you are going to hear from this person before the end of the month definitely this page of cups sweet messages phone call text communication um, I'm not necessarily feeling so much as like an offer of commitment or anything like that, but more like I miss you or an apology that things are taking so long. Okay, I just said I'm not feeling like so much of a commitment, but the high priest is here, so hmm, Taurian energy. There's definitely committed, this is marriage, partnership. Somebody wants to marry you, Virgo, or come into a committed relationship here with you. Let's take a look at justice. <gasps> the lovers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gemini energy. This person wants to be with you, Virgo. Wow. Something though is keeping you both apart or has kept you apart for a really long time. Um, and it feels like it's either like mental restriction or mental health issues. Um, or physical issues. Let's take a look at this. Two of Cups. Yep. Seven of Wands. Okay. Fighting for this connection here. They want to be with you, Virgo. This person, whoever your person is, whomever you're talking to or will be talking to, you're definitely going to be getting some kind of offer. There, you two might have met before in the past or in the recent past and things just didn't pan out for some reason. There might have been something that occurred. They were tied up with someone else or they were having some struggles or some issues with health, like I was saying. Um, and I do feel like there was great potential there for you guys to be successful. Um, it could have been financial as well, like financial restriction as well. This person trying to get their money back you know, they, maybe they lost money or they went broke or had, um, uh, somebody must have, it feels like a bank, I'm hearing bankruptcy, um, didn't have enough money to even take you out for a burger <laughs> or to let you buy them a burger or something along those lines. They just, it kind of feels like a bit of pride. Six of Wands is there, a bit of pride. Okay, they might not have wanted you to know, or they had some mental restrictions or mental problems that kept them from being successful. All right, so, okay, they just gave you four cards, the tower, yep, page of cups again, the chariot, and the nine of cups. So there's definitely an energy here of like a breakthrough happening here. There's a breakthrough with this page of cups energy. This communication, for some of it's gonna be kind of like a surprise, just coming out of the blue, not expected. Um, your wish come true to them, Virgo, with the chariot. This person, if the chariot was in the reverse when we first started, so it kind of felt like a lot of scattered energy with this person. What's coming forward? Major change. This person's like obsessed with you. <laughs> There's like a bond or something that they know that cannot, they can't break this within them. Whenever they think about you, they feel you know, that connection, like there's some something about this connection that is just impossible to to end, to break. Look, the star, healing, that's what the transformation and changes. Aquarian energy going into healing. Okay, we also have, did I say cancer? Pisces. Let's see. Page of Pentacles going forward in the future. This person's got big plans with you. And here they are. The four of wands. Big plans. Yep coming to your home, moving in together, you you going to their home, um, some type of marriage or celebration, somebody's going to a wedding, there may be an invite for a date to a wedding, um, or it might be your own. <laughs> okay, this devil, what is up with this devil? Okay, look, bringing that devil into balance, peace and harmony, tempering, somebody has like it feels like addiction to you. It feels like a physical, sexual intimacy, fun. It feels like real Sagittarian energy, like addicted to you, but tempering that, you know? Why the need? Why the need to temper this is because this person just feels like, I don't, I don't know if it's healthy, but it just kind of feels to me like they 
can't no one else satisfies them that's what i feel no one else or nothing else you know i forgot to pull the um I, I'm in the process still of moving. I'm, I'm pretty much here, but I'm not fully set up yet. So my mind is like, you know how it is for the Virgo. <laughs> I wrote a list and I forgot to bring the list. I want to see, I'm a Virgo on the cusp of Leo. So I'm more like my feet go before my head <laughs> and I'm more actually, I get everything down and then I start going. And then I'm like, Virgo's over here like, wait, 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 you forgot your system. You forgot to dot your I's and cross your T's. Come back, come back. <laughs> So let's get a look at the love messages. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. So I definitely feel like some of you have been praying or calling in a soulmate and this person as well. Um, some of you might be calling in the healthy twin flame connection and ascension where your person is, they view you as a soulmate because they don't really understand the twin flame and there's also um, they might be calling you. Um, for some of you, this might not even be somebody you know. You might be meeting them very soon. Some of you might be, they might be tied to a legal, uh, like a court, or they're like maybe a lawyer or a judge or someone who works in that field or that industry. Um, Okay, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So Virgo, a lot of this is happening for you right now, I see. Because you are in this position of freeing yourself, being in a better position in your life, maybe some of you have freed yourself from a past relationship that just seems like it wasn't for you and you've got somebody new. Others, you've freed yourself from this connection. Uh, to allow this person to just go through whatever they needed to go through and some of you told them when you're ready reach out and we'll see finances and career yeah i feel like that plays a really strong role in this connection financial issues are, are play a factor in this connection in a lot of ways is it for some reason, it just feels like this person does not want you to have to pay for things for them. And they also have a bit of pride with that six of wands. So they don't want you to see that they're struggling financially. Um, and for others, it's you. And you're in that position right now where you're trying to get yourself, like your feet firmly planted in the ground before you really get into position or position yourself to be connecting with someone else on an intimate level. Okay, let's take a look and see what the messages for this person's feelings are. And then after this, I'm going to go into the singles. All right, messages for Virgo, Virgo's person. Messages and advice. Okay. You came closer than anyone, okay? So the person you may have met before or you are interacting with definitely feels that you came closer to them than they really haven't ever let anybody in as close to them. There's things that you know about them that they, they told you out of confidence, but it feels to me like they've never told anyone the things that they've told you. So that to them means something. Um, your advice, Pat, passion try something you've never done before what does that mean for you virgo some of you are starting some new things in your life here um here and now virgo your true love is already a part of your life and regret someone feels remorse for the way they treated you virgo and that might be why they're having this awakening they're undergoing some type of um awakening about the connection about you um the fact that no one else has ever come as close and have they tried to connect with other people sure um friends have they been out dating was there a breakup for some of you yes and it feels to me like whomever they were talking to before or connecting with you know no one is you virgo and i feel like there's this if you have pulled away from this person and you just kind of or just in general you know just went on about your business there's this energy of like wow you know they miss i feel like an apology or i miss you messages coming in here sometimes they stay awake thinking about you virgo hmm. as they should <laughs> 
they hid who they really were and I feel like the they didn't hide all of you they hid parts of themselves and maybe fronted a lot you know like maybe they didn't tell you where they worked or told you or didn't want to tell you about their job or you know maybe they fronted that they had all this money but they really didn't have anything or they told you that but you know this person judged themselves much more harshly than anyone okay my life is not together as together as it seems so yeah Virgo but they feel you even though you're both apart let's see what your advice extra advice here for you Virgo Okay, the wheel there you go again the wheel of fortune a fresh new start for someone you for some of you and the end of delays sudden or unexpected progress or change a very positive change is happening in your life for some it's travel for others a new vehicle okay whatever's going on here from this video forward will be in your favor I feel like things are gonna start moving wheels in motion um, your advice is to go with it just go with it okay and you have the two of swords right now some of you are unable or unwilling to make a decision and that's okay because if you're in doubt about something you shouldn't make any decisions just yet because some of you don't have enough information on what you want to do some of you are just going with the flow with this connection or in your love lives and that's fine the point is to follow your own heart rather than trying to make other people happy you have to do what's best for you i heard someone say the other day and I 100% agree as if I were the one who said it. When people tell you what to do, 90% of the time, it's what they ought to be doing. Okay, so go to your core, go to your center, and focus on what you need to do for yourself. Don't worry about what other people need to be doing or not doing. Because like I said, if somebody's coming along and giving you advice or telling you how you should be living your life, they're really, you know, for every finger pointing that's done there's three f fingers pointing back at that person and that's really about them and that's really about projection it has nothing to do with you so just leave those people <laughs> to their own business all right let's get a couple of charms okay well we've got three what's this what <gasps> oh wow that's so cute it's a lion Okay, we have a lion. Someone here might be a Leo or is connecting with a Leo, but this is bravery. This is courage. Um, somebody here likes to lionize their hash browns or potatoes or their eggs or their food. I just heard. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Um, or some of you have like a really big, I just heard, um, what's that thing called? They, they're saying... Maine, Maine Coon cat of some sort or you have a cat are you connecting with someone that has like there's a lot of cats somebody is going to a zoo coming up soon there might be a date at a zoo or just a zoo trip coming up as well but this this really it feels mostly like courage and strength and I do feel like this connection or this relationship is go, is getting stronger um or your person is getting stronger which you know Virgo you're pretty strong as it is so I don't know what's going on with this person but we have okay we have a koi fish now where is the where is koi fish found are they in Japan possibly some connection to Japan I feel or somebody's getting a koi fish keeping it in a pond maybe looking at them or there's a tattoo um, there's some animals here, that's for sure. Well, fish, fish and animals. Um, a drawing. Um, this is an, there's an artist here. Someone draws koi fish. I'm seeing um, koi fish in a yin yang, a yin yang koi fish kind of thing drawing or a tattoo or somebody's looking at that or or if you're thinking of getting a tattoo that's they're saying that's the one somebody's t trying to tell you to get a koi fish tattoo the yin yang koi fish tattoo okay and we also have oh american flag okay somebody's coming to america i mean or i mean 
probably most of you live in America, but something to do with an American flag. Um, there might be military. Um, I've never had a military, I've never had an um, American flag charm, so that's really interesting. Um, let me see here. Oh. And I just heard flag at half staff, okay, for somebody. Or I know someone that was in the military that passed away or something might happen. I, if that happened to you, I'm very sorry. That person, I feel like, is coming through here. Um, and for some of you, there's, they're saying something about a tattoo. Something about a tattoo. Get, are telling you, to, is it? get that tattoo, get that tattoo, or they have it, maybe they had a flag on their, I keep picking up tattoos, what is this, <laughs> like a flat, like a flag tattoo, or maybe a bumper sticker or something, um, I don't know, pay attention to America, I don't know what that means, but okay, <laughs> I'm going to leave that there and go over to the singles, okay, and see what the messages are here, hi you guys, hope you're doing well, um, thank you, Jose, the other day, left a very nice super chat. And if you're here, Jose, thank you. And to everyone else who's leaving them, your super chat donations, thank you. I truly appreciate that. All right. Happy birthday to all my Virgos. We are actually, I believe, at the end here of Virgo season, going into Libra. So... For those of you on the cusp of Virgo Libra, happy birthday to you as well. Okay, let's go into the singles and see what's up. Who's got new love? What's this new love? Is there new love coming in? Singles, singles, let's see. There's such an echo in here right now. Oh my goodness, I hope you can't hear it. All right, one more shuffle for the singles. Okay, show us singles, Virgo singles. All right, okay, page of wands. Wow, ace of pentacles. Okay, five of pentacles. The lovers, oh my God, some of you are meeting your, your person. Page of cups again. Oh, what the heck? A lot of communication. All right, there's a fire sign here. Okay, you've got a fire sign coming in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Male or female? All right. <clears throat> Again with the cat, let's take a look. What's going on here? I'm seeing so much. Some of you, um, this is somebody that you knew before, okay? This is not someone you had a marriage or a love relationship with. This might have been a friend or a friend of a friend, okay? Or So even if they, you didn't know them, they, they are from your home, your fam, where your fam, where you're from, where your roots are. Let me just see. Okay, yeah, this person's coming into town. Um, let's see. Oh, they may have already come into town in uh, July or August. Let me see. A lot of travel. They travel a lot. Yep, there's the sun. Okay. They're from a warm place, but they're coming to a warm place. Or, they, or it was warm when they arrived. It feels like this person's already arrived somewhere near your home or your family home, okay? Um, I feel like somebody's going to be reaching out to you. You might bump into this person, actually. Uh, there might be an invite to some type of um, holiday. I'm hearing the holidays, okay? You might have an invite to a holiday party, okay? Like... Um, it could be Christmas Eve party or Thanksgiving Eve party or a Halloween party that's around October, November, December, I'm picking up. You're going to meet this person. Um, yeah, this invite, um, I'm just feeling like um, there's going to be some snow on the ground. 
and I know if you guys live in like California, um, you won't have like Southern California. It's not Southern. It's not Southern. Um, some of you might be traveling from that area to a colder place. Okay. I kind of get a sense that, uh, or this, or it, so it's, it's either going, some of you live in a cold area where there's snow on the ground in the, the winter time and they're coming there or they're from a place where there's snow in the ground. Um, something to do with a church. I, this might also be, um, okay. Okay, this is what they're telling me. Okay, now they're giving me this. This they're they're stopping me and saying no, no. You're getting ahead of yourself. This is snow on the ground around the church around Christmas time. You might bump into this person. I don't know if anybody goes to church at Christmas. I certainly do, but it might be like around that time period, around the holidays too. There's something going on around the holidays. Let me take a look with this church. What is up with this church? Oh, okay. Some of you might be volunteering somewhere around the, around Christmas to either help the homeless, which is like so awesome. I love people who are able to get involved in that or helping with Christmas gifts or helping, um, you know, you don't even have to be, I mean, like whatever, however you want to, like you don't even have to be religious to celebrate Christmas, obviously, but there's just something about maybe there's traveling to a cool place. Yeah, I just said traveling. Here's the fool. Okay, yeah. Um, this feels like um, this person actually does a little bit of that. They travel and they go and they help um, the, the, the poor. And especially around the holidays, they do this. What a good soul. Okay, this person's very, you know, they're kind of legalistic in a lot of ways. Like they really are by the book. They like to do things the right way. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication from this person coming forward. Um, you might be helping them. They might invite you to come help them do some stuff. Like invite you in the sense of like, not romantically at first, just kind of like, hey, you know, come join us where, I don't know, maybe you're going to be singing Christmas carols somewhere or helping with like um, a food or clothing drive or presents or gifts overseas or something, you know, it's definitely like an opportunity to give gifts is what I feel, but helping with this person. But you know what? This person is like totally marriage minded, legal, legal marriage. So this person Marriage-minded in the sense that, you know, like, it means something to them. It's not, look, okay, when spirit talks, spirit talks, okay? Knight of Cups. This person, I definitely feel like whatever, this person has had some heartbreak as well in their past, but it, they take it very seriously. To them, marriage is not just, you know, how people say, oh, it's just a piece of paper. It's much more spiritual to them. It's much more blessed even though they understand that the legality of marriage as well, um, you know, or domestic partnership, something that's legal. I feel like this person takes it very seriously. And I feel like you're going to be connecting. You're going to hear from somebody. If you're out dating or you might hear from your family about something that this person's doing and there might be some, you know, communication from them asking if you want to go help them with this stuff and joining maybe like a community, but love happens. Love happens. And this person, I feel like, within three to six months time, there's gonna be some kind of, three to nine months time, there's gonna be a proposal for marriage, for love. Like you guys, I feel like you're gonna start on, you have one common thing that you'll be doing together and it just builds upon that. And then you guys wind up, going into like falling in love i mean it's so beautiful i don't see anything negative um it's just like a heart healing kind of thing you know um it almost feels like when i look at this like this person's coming in with this love offer that brings healing to your broken heart and to theirs that's what love does that's what love is true love not fake love not false love true love 
All right, Virgo, how many minutes did we get here? Let's see. Oh gosh, only 30. Okay. Well, that's all right. I'm going to try to keep it, try to go longer next time. Um, but the more I get settled in, the more I'll be able to, you know, bring more deeper in-depth readings too. But hopefully this is good for now. <laughs> all right, Virgo, I love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for being in the chat. Take care. Don't forget, if you want to join, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to be a moderator on my channel, go over to my community tab. There's um, a post there. I'll repost it again. Um, all the information is there and you can email me at moonpytarot at gmail. And um, I'll be getting next week messaging everybody back who has already inquired for when I get started for the live streams, um, mini readings in October. All right, you guys, I'll see you all very soon. Love you. Take care. Bye.